So now we've got our animation that we love, and we want to bake this so that it'll be consistent between renders in the movie render queue. So to do that, we use the Take Recorder. So to find your Take Recorder, you go to Window, Cinematics, and Take Recorder. And then the important thing is you need to add the things that you want to record. So we hit Source, and we say From Actor, and then we're going to hit Manny Simple. So that's added it into the Take Recorder. And then we're going to add from actor, our cylinder. Now we also need it to add in our sequencer. So you have to go to source and then level sequence and then level sequence to trigger and it's saying zero at the moment. So again, you need to add the actual level sequence here. So now it'll play this level sequence and it'll record the animation from these characters. There's some other things I want to turn off and change. So we go into the, the settings and then under here, the take recorder, by default, record time code is on and also record sources into subsequence. And what will happen is you see your frame numbers here, it'll actually record these frame numbers. So when your animation is recording into the new take, it'll be like miles away over there. So we want to change that here just to turn record time code off and then also record our sources into subsequences. Turn that one off too, because what will happen is if for every item, you'll have another subsequent sequence and another one, another one, rather than putting them all in the same sequencer. And then the other thing to change is the playback rate and then the frames per second, because when you're recording at 24 frames per second, it's basically saving a key in the take recorder every 24th of a second. But with your animation and your physics, it's actually running fast as, as Unreal can run its little legs. So often you'll get like jitters and, and weird things like that, and it'll look fine when it's playing it, but when you load up the animation, things will be, be do, doing this and that because it's kind of rounding out to the nearest frame. So you can set that to the maximum as 240 because this subsequencer, the keys are time-based rather than frame based. Now, the other thing to be aware of as well is it's going to record this animation in real time. So if you've got a really heavy scene and it's chugging along, the animation will be and it'll record it like that. So make sure that your sequence will play at the highest frame rate that it can. A couple of tricks are to just go into unlit mode. Uh, and the other thing is here, this is your time dilation. But basically, if you, you can record this at half speed. So I tend to set it at 0.5. All right, so I think we're ready now. The important thing to do this is really important. I'm going to put big letters. Press simulate mode. All right, so then you hit the big red button here. And now it's going to do a countdown. And it's going to play that animation. You see it's playing at half speed. And ta-da! Beauty.